I just quickly uh, discuss kind of philosophy behind my whole the point of doing this channel or these videos that I'm making is that I, when I came from um, Cubase I had a very different way of doing things um, I found it very difficult to find my way around Reaper didn't appreciate the value of the all the, the stuff that comes with Reaper so the kind of point I'm trying to get across is uh, to show people especially people coming from other doors because we're all kind of refugees from from various doors along the way um, the way around Reaper and how much depth and breadth there is within Reaper and its plugins it's you know the whole customization that you can do etc 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 so with that philosophy in mind um, I want to talk to you about a guy called Fab Dupont who is a, a record producer and a really fine audio engineer um, I saw a seminar of his once that changed the way I use uh, reverb on vocals forever I've adopted this method that he uses um, and I went out and bought uh, a copy of the Oxford uh, reverb plugin that he used in the seminar um, and found out later now as I'm going to show you that was a totally unnecessary thing to do so to save people having to rush out and buy the Oxford Reverb plugin, or more specifically to go and crack it, um, I'm going to show you how to do this within Reaper, with Reaper plugins, and a couple of freely available and free um, impulse responses, which I'll include uh, links to in the description. So his whole philosophy is a three-tier system of reverbs first one being the office uh, which is a, a short very short reverb basically just to put someone in a little bit of a room and for those that are you know very close to the microphone etc to put try and put a little distance between the, the singer and the microphone the next one is a, a plate which is just nice and simple this is the one that he likes to hear that gives the kind of he, he calls it sauce but gives that little bit of um, reverb tail that you hear in the background and the third one is a hall which I use kind of like to give a little bit of height to the room to give you know as though the singer's got a bit of space above their head if you can try and imagine it that way but we'll dive into it and I, I hope it will become fairly obvious um, First things first, we've got the office, if I open it up. All I'm using on this is little reverberate. Now what I'll do, I'll play this vocal dry, so we've got nothing on it at the moment. No, you're not at all to blame. I was the one that played your game. It was so easy to make me believe you're worth my time. Okay, so if we drop in the reverberate first. No, you're not at all to blame. I was the one that played your game. It was so easy. Step back from the microphone. What I'll do is I'll play it, I won't speak, and I'll play it and then I'll drop it in and out. You'll have to just if you watch me here as I drop it in and out and hopefully you'll hear the difference. No, you're not at all to blame. I was the one that played your game. It was so easy to make me. Okay, I think it's fairly obvious there. I've, I mean, I've pronounced all this quite a lot, so you can hear. Let's compare that to the Oxford. So this is the the Oxford reverb with the exact settings that Fab Dupont gave. So if I show you, there's all the reverb settings, and I'll switch to the equalizer. You can pause and copy these. I won't go through them all. So if we give that a listen now, and I'll try and switch between the two. I won't speak, just try and watch what I'm doing, and I'll switch between the two. No, you're not at all to blame. I was the one that played your game. It was so easy to make me believe you're worth my time. No, you're not at all to blame. I was the one. Okay, it's pretty damn close if you think about it. If all we are using is this, 
Now, this is the plate that, like I said, he likes to hear the tail of, etc. If we give it a listen with the um, rear verb in first. the tail there. If we switch this one in. No, you're not at all too Tails maybe a little bit longer on the the Oxford so but I mean there are there's another impulse in here that I could use that would give a longer tail. I think I've used the, the medium one in this. Now I've put the filter on here and ended up I didn't use it. It's just there in case. And the trim gain stretch again I didn't end up using it on this one. So if I'll switch between the two, I won't speak, and if you just watch me, I'll switch between them and do the same thing again. So first the Oxford. No, you're not at all to blame. I was the one that played your game. Still it was so easy to make me believe you're worth my time. I mean, I think that's pretty amazing, to be honest. It's really close. So that's the um, plate. If we move on to the hole, again it's reverb with an impulse. Now, so this comes from the um, Simplic Simplicity uh, M7 Bricasti M7 um, pack of um, impulse responses. Now I have just grabbed one at random. This was the first one I came to, and I've tweaked it to get it to sound what I want. So don't you know feel as though you've got to go through all these holes now they do they do pure stereo ones and there's also a mono to stereo which is what this one is which is a, it's a great pack again I'll put links up uh, filter I've high passed a little bit at 320 which is to cut I'll show you the Oxford in a minute and this I've had to play around with a fair bit to get it to to sit exactly the same as the Oxford so if I bring up his Fab de Ponce settings and I, again you can pause and have a look. There's the EQ. And there's the, the reverb. So we have a listen first to ours, and I'll switch between the two again. And so if you watch for what I'm doing, and you'll see when I switch. really <laughs> it's pretty close I can't I mean I've had to shorten the length a little bit and bring the gain down etc on both on the wet knob here and on the, the gain knob here but other than that uh, the high passed it a little bit I mean that's you know it wasn't too much work to try and get it to sound pretty much exactly the same as this now if I quickly just go through the three to give you the idea of what we're supposed to be listening for with these. Now, I think you got the idea with the the office with the, but the plate is. A, if you imagine that the thing is taking a step back from the mic here, the plate is to give her a bit of space between her, the back of her head and the back wall, if you like. So if we just listen to that, and I'll bring it in. No, you're not at all to blame. I was the one that played your game. you heard that it just gives that space behind her and then uh, the same thing with the hall this one is to give a bit of height above her head give her a bit of air and the whole kind of set up so what I'll do is I'll, if I mute that take the mute off and I'll bring it in slowly until we get to a nice level and see what you think no you're not at all to blame I was the one
have it. There's what you can achieve just with two Reaper plugins and a couple of impulse responses. Hope this was useful. Hope it um, gave you some ideas and I uh, yeah, hope you'll give it a try. Cheers. Thanks. Bye. Flying.